from the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio at the University of Illinois campus. This is your UI7 News Break, your U of I news source. Hello, I'm Narika Holloway. And I'm Minerva Pañuelos. Welcome to the IJEA News Break 2015 on this beautiful Friday. We've only had two hours to put the, all of this together, but this is what we've come up to. We have a lot of news for you this afternoon, from the second Republican debate on CNN to the world's first consumer, AK telev te Television. But first, we're joined here in the studio with Sydney Sullins, who along with her videographer, Jacob Beckley, captured a special event happening here on the U of I campus. Sydney? That's right. It is a special time of year at University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. It's IJEA time. The Illinois Journalism Educators Association Conference is today. I am here at Richmond Studio with nine other students from across Illinois. Richmond Studio is the teaching studio of the University of Illinois. IJEA is the Illinois Journalism Jersey. Education Association. We are at the 2015 Fall Conference located at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. The best thing about IJEA is the immersion that to the different fields that IGA has to offer. It was really exciting and I can't really believe that I was a part of it. But it was fun and I it was really exciting and nice to work with other students from different schools and talking to them. If you want to come out and join the U of I newscast next year, just go and sign up at the U of I website and search IJEA. It was hot this morning in Champaign. However, still a beautiful day to grab lunch outside food truck near the engineer and choir serves uh, hearty breakfast sandwiches each morning. Loyal customers waited in line today despite the warm weather. I mean, it's really nice to have food trucks centrally located in this area because it makes it, make you not have to walk all the way to get food since, like I said, I work right here, so it's very, very convenient. For busy students and faculty, food trucks are convenient and quick, whether on whether on the U of I campus or at Urbana Farmers Market. The cracked food truck is a local staple. Buses will be more convenient for students starting this week. The Champaign-Urbana Mass Transit District is increasing its hours starting Monday. The Illini 22 buses will be arriving every 10 minutes from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. The Illini 22 is a very popular bus for everyone because it goes all around campus. Buses are free and convenient option for students. They are a way to avoid parking tickets. The second Republican debate of the 2016 election was full of controversial topics. Senator Marco Rubio focused largely on his immigration policy. The candidate talked about three immigration issues facing America, including the high number of illegal immigrants, the failing legal immigrant system, and long-standing immigrant residents who are still here legally. Second, we have a legal immigration system that Children are <laughs> recovering after being caught in a fire in eastern Providence of China. A fire struck Fujian, China, risking the lives of hundreds of children as well as several adults. The fire started in a flower shop and reached up to the kindergarten classroom above it. The cause of the fire is still undetermined. Everyone who was injured is now in a stable condition. The world's first 8K television goes on sale next month, and if you want one, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Sharp's 85-inch ultra-high definition TV will be whopping $133,000. Sharp's screen has 38 million pixels. That's 16 times the resolution of an average TV. Not only will this TV t run the, ha the price of a house, it needs additional software to work. Still interested? This TV goes on sale October 30th. The Westford Pop Warner Jr. Ghosts give a six-year-old boy a great opportunity this past Sunday. Todd Cassidy, Kaskivich, has more. 
it was the first play in the first game of the season. Matt Davidopoulos scored a touchdown, and now he's touching the hearts of hundreds of thousands of people. Touchdown! This video of Matt's touchdown is now going viral. It happened Sunday as the Westford Pop Warner Junior Ghosts took on the Drake Middies. Six-year-old Matt Davidopoulos loves football. He loves watching his older brother Noah play. But Matt feared he'd always be stuck on the sidelines because of spiral muscular atrophy. And he might have been, had Westford's head coach not devised a special play. Checked with the league and everybody, and everyone's like, dude, that's awesome, it's a go. And I'm like, fantastic. And I told his parents about it, and they were elated. And then talked to Drake and said, hey, would you guys be willing to play along? And they were excited about him. Matt and Noah were co-captains. Noah was the quarterback. Come on, don't fight it. It was awesome. On Matt's drive to the end zone, a few attempted tackles proved unsuccessful. Seconds later, he drove through the end zone. This six-year-old boy, who wasn't expected to live past Nobody. the age of two, beat the odds yet again. I almost wanted to cry when he was in there because it's just, it's awesome. I mean, the kid, the kid has such a big heart. He has such a great attitude at six years old. He was very excited and again, so excited to be participating in something with his brother that we as parents never thought would happen. Matt, you did good. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> Matt says he wants to keep on playing football and he's about to get some new equipment. A new motorized wheelchair arrives tomorrow. Just imagine what he'll be able to do with that. Reporting in Westford, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5. A heartwarming story for this young boy. Thank you, Todd. Currently, it's 85 degrees with scattered storms in the area through tonight. After today, expect a beautiful week here in Champaign-Urbana area with sunny skies through next Tuesday with temperatures in the low, mid, low to mid-70s. That's going to do it for the 2015 IJEA News Break. I'm Minerva Bagnellos. And I'm Nautica Holloway. And also a special thanks to the coordinator of IJEA, Lynn Holly. Thank you for joining us.